Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, students, this video is the first one in the series about consumer business math concepts. Now, what do I mean by consumer and business? Well, obviously, it has to do with money and percent. All right, so anytime you're going to buy something or sell or maybe even invest, you're going to deal with things like taxes, discounts, markups. A markup, of course, is if you're a seller and you want to make a profit. Um, or you're going to invest with simple interest and compound interest or even borrow money. So money concepts mixed in with percent. Okay, I want to start this video by giving you a visual model. And this model is going to actually take us into two different methods on how to work with these percent concepts. Um, basically, they are um, going to give you an idea of how to set up an equation or a proportion when you're going to find the percent of something and either add it on to the price or subtract it in the case of a discount. So let's just kind of take a few quick examples. I want you to picture this rectangle as a glass or some kind of measuring container that's either full or empty or in between. Now on the left we have the percent values here. If it's full of course 100%. If it's empty it's down to zero. Um, on the right is the actual amount. Now in this case with consumer math of course we're going to be talking a lot about money. So it'll be some sort of price or money information. Alright so if it's full and let's say that something costs five dollars then the 100% idea of that is $5. So the original price is $5, okay, 100%. On the other side, of course, it'd be $0 down in the uh, lower right. Now, so just a basic idea here is what if we're going to take 50%, all right? As we know, 50% is a nice little concept there. That's one half. So one half of $5 or 50% of $5 is 250 so this model is a way to think of it as uh, maybe a glass that's full or some kind of measurement. And the idea is we can get an equation from this and we can also do it with a proportion. Okay, so in other words, what if there was um, a time I needed to know 50% of $5? All right, so I can say 50% of $5 is what okay now as an equation of course you would multiply the 50 percent times five and you would get your answer all right so one way to do it is to visualize um, what percent you're being asked for and that will tell you your equation okay now on the other side what you're looking for is the same thing 50 percent of five dollars and so you're going to take you're going to take the four amounts, 50%, 100%, the full amount, and your mystery number, the number you're looking for, and you're going to make that into a proportion. So you're going to take it in this order, 100 over 50, equals $5 over unknown. Okay, now we know it's 250, but the idea is to solve this proportion. Now, most of the time I teach it backwards. I flip these around and I get the percent amount over 100 and it equals the part amount over the whole amount. Okay, so this is actually the way I want you to do it. So it's actually kind of an upside down model. But the, the way you get your proportion is from these four values. All right, and in a typical consumer math situation, one of those amounts is unknown. So whether you do it as an equation or a proportion, it's up to you. I just want to show you those two models. Here's our first example. What's the tax on a $4.50 item with a tax rate of 6%? And then what's the total price? All right, now let's get a little visual model of this. 
if it's 450 to start with, that's my original amount. Okay, that represents 100% of the price. And I'm going to add on tax. Tax is always added on when we are the buyer, right? So what happens is we're actually going to add a little portion up above here, which is going to be 6%. And that gets added on. Okay? Now this new amount right here is 106% because it's the full price plus the tax, right? And the question is, what is the total price? Now, as an equation, what you can do is find 6% of 450. All right, so it's 0 0.06 times 450. and that will give you your tax amount. All right? Then you're going to add that tax amount of course on to 450. So that's going to take two steps. All right? Find the tax amount and then add it on to the full price. Here's the proportion method for this. Well, first of all, we want to know what the tax amount is going to be, so we can still do 6%, which is 0.06 times 450 okay so obviously we might have to just do that on my calculator first all right but to get an idea here and a proportion here what we're gonna do is add on that tax again six percent and this is gonna be a hundred and six percent that we actually pay all right we're gonna take 106 percent we're gonna take a hundred percent we're gonna take X and we're gonna take the full amount which is 450 and we're going to take those four circled amounts and make a proportion out of it. So 106 over 100 equals X over 450. So solving a proportion, you cross multiply. These two numbers multiplied, divide it by 100, which just use, uh, moves the decimal point over, and you're going to get your final answer. That's the tax added on if you use the proportion method. Let's use this for a few practice problems. So take a glance at these four problems and these are all asking for the selling price. So that's the tax added on. All right, you can find the tax first um, with an equation and then add it on to the price as indicated or you can use a proportion, which I recommend. All right, here are the four answers. And notice how you can um, do it with a proportion method and say 104 over 100, because that's the tax added on, equals the um, entire price you're going to pay over the original price. Okay? That's the same for all of these. 105 over 100, 103 over 100, and 101 over 100, which gives me these four answers. All right, that was a very quick look at tax. The next video in this series is um, using the same idea, writing an equation or a proportion, and you are going to be working with discount. All right, thanks for watching, and take a look for the next video. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.